What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Mr. Leva, and welcome back to Beholder 2. Now, when we last left off, we got promoted up to the 12th floor. We did some new stuff at our new job, and now we are going to try to get some booze so we can talk to the drunk man about his loss. I'm assuming, like, his wife or son died, or daughter, wife or child died, and that we have to figure out why. But they said he only talks to you if he's drunk, not why he's hungover. So I need to try to get some alcohol. Hmm. Hello, Peter. It's Carl865. Someone took my job. Hello, Emma. I have made friends with a colleague. Bye. I'm not friends with her. Can I say other things? Can we talk more? Ask how she's doing. What's new? Nothing to brag about. Evan, I'm short on money all the time. My mother is always pestering about children. You. Do you have children? Yeah, two boys. Have you got an idea? Maybe I'll find a place for my children. I'm not a good mother. I haven't given up the idea of marrying someone in the ministry, but the future is so understanding. Sending your children to your foster home wouldn't be a bad idea. You've had more time to yourself. <laughs> But they are my children if they're living with my parents right now, are you sure? No. Talk to me. No, she shouldn't send her children to the foster home. Jesus. Okay. Um. Oh, they're saying I should get promoted. Find dirt. Sell the stimulants. I'm not worried about sending those stimulants. I left them in that chick's desk anyway. Da, 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 da. A potted plant? Potted plant. Search you. Maybe there's more alcohol in the potted plant. Uh, a biometric safe! Holy shit! Uh, biometric safe. Open. Got Caleb at grave. Received Hendal codes. Okay, so Hemdal codes collected. Okay, that's all it gave me. It didn't give me a, uh, anything to read. Well, that's awesome. All right. Not the alcohol I was looking for, though. That's where I found the whiskey. I've got time to waste looking through these, though. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I've never checked this one. Potted plant, please. Damn it. Hmm. Anywhere else me to search for potted plants for alcohol? Hmm. Lost and found, maybe? Bottle of run. I'll go home, and we'll come back, and we'll get booze to write tomorrow. I think that's the best game plan we could do. Sorry, I was messing with the, uh audio on the back of my headphones there. No, oh, it stopped me. It literally stopped me from walking there for a second again, so I was just like, uh, I'm sorry? My phone is a ringing. Uh, pick up the phone. Call from James. Ken okay. Hello, Evans. It's James. I've been looking into your colleagues. They're an interesting Can bunch. I'm listening. In general, there's nothing too unusual, but keep your eyes on John Smith. Uh, we don't have any information on him, and that's suspicious. What do you want me to do? I don't think it's a serious matter, but if I were you, I would find out everything there is to know about him. But we put in a request with the archive to let me know if you find anything, okay? I'll try. Okay, I've got a, just under $200, so what bills can we pay, if any? It's been a while since I've been this broke. Oh, I can pay for my laundry. Awesome. And we've got three hours to read books. Yeah, I'd like to be able to pick locks because I think that's what I want to be able to do to break into their desks. 519, 1985. Okay. I 
I do like that music they play. It's pretty upbeat and cheery. Okay. Pat, we did. Let's head up. Ooh, I can't trash. So there's only a few more levels. Only a few more levels. Spoopy. Oh no, what is happening? What is happening? Oh, the lottery, no, the, the challenge. Honor only won by 10 points. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Devon and Masudigan. What the fuck? Where is Hank? What the fuck? How is that gonna have been tossed in for saying we shouldn't be tossing people in? What the fuck? Where's my guys? Where are the people I need to talk to? Are we now the wrong? There's Gloria. Yeah, goal 500, round 189. Conscience 490. Honor 500. So I'm guessing tomorrow will be the new ones. Hank? Phew! <laughs> Pardon me. Ah, quick grave. Found me, did you? Now go fuck yourself. Well, you have it your way. I'll give you this bottle if someone else says. Stop, bottle, what bottle? This one, but you don't want it, then I'll go. You should have mentioned it right from the start. Quick grave, give it to me. That's not Hogwarts. There you go. Wait, are you playing the drinker right here? You're at work. At least don't drink the whole thing. Hick, I'm always at work. Here's what I'll say, quick grave. Why bother to work and snooze? Work and snooze. You can't enjoy some booze. <laughs> if you drink some antifreeze, it all rhymes after that as well. Whatever. Are you alright? Listen, we. Why haven't I noticed you before? You're a great guy. Ask me what you want, I'll tell you everything. What do you want? That's why I drink. Listen, I ain't sorry for asking. Go ahead. Why do you drink at work? You know it's not allowed, right? And why do I care? Right? So what if they put me in that shro shit shredder? That's a lot less. Com one less competitor for you. Can you go with me, sir? Hank, I'm just worried about you. Friend, let me kiss you. I love you so much. Wait, Hank. You didn't give me an answer. My brother is gone. My blood brother. He's been. It's been a month. So I drink. Gone how? How do people go missing in the ministry? One believe an eye and they're gone. We worked here together and then he disappeared. Did you report it to the police? Report it to the police. Like they care about me. They accepted my report and said that they would call me back and they never did. Offer help. That's terrible, Hank. Have you tried looking at for yourself? Yes, I've searched everywhere. I've poked into every whore shit, into every hole. I mean, let me help you find him. Really? What's his name? What does he look like? Look at me. He looks just like me. Or what do I look like if I've been drinking for a month? His name is Rambin Durant. Come again? Rambin Durant? My mother loved unusual names. Hey, are you making fun of my little brother? This seems funny to you, you little bastard. Easy, easy, Hank. I'm a friend. I'm just wanting to make sure Rambin Dance is it. I've looked everywhere, everywhere. You know, the only place I haven't searched is the boss office, but we never went. There. Okay, I'll find something out. Okay, the only place I never searched was the boss office, so I mean, hey. Film and tape, find tape. Oh, yeah, I need tape. Do you remember Rambadranth, right? Hank's brother. He worked on this floor. Yes, I remember. He disappeared a month ago. Just disappeared. Well, yes. Just stopped showing up to work that is. Do you remember anything unusual about that day? Hmm, that day I was hunting for clerks loitering around paper tray. 
I remember the boss coming out of his office, looking my way and smiling. You know, it felt like he had seen right through me, despite me lurking like a professional. That's creepy. That's, that's all. Right, that's yes, I don't remember anything there's unusual there's besides that. There's no idea to do it. Near the end of jungle. Thank you. What do you want? General chat. Nope. Uh, you know what, yeah, General Chad, I was told to find anything I could about you. That's about the family? That's about the family? Idiot, why did it, I, what did I just tell you? Family has weakness. Either give it up or never tell anyone about it. Because peace. Shredder. Talk about Kali. Kill Sabo. Rose. Okay, that's the best I could really do, so let's ring it in, I guess, because the guy said we should find information on him. Give me 425. Fantastic. We need film and tape. I can't pick his lock just yet. Oh, so I guess let's, uh,. This is the Motherland Terminal? Yeah, I should be able to hack those here soon. Alright, let's get to work. I'll do a few of these. Ministry of Patronism. Okay, let's approve that. Check. Give you a star for that. Um, take personal note of that. Oh, it's supposed to put a kill somebody on that? My bad. Note that. Put it inside of this. Check. Yeah. I wasn't paying full attention to the fact that it was like someone breaking the law. So, let's do another one. I want to make a statement. My mother-in-law steals cotton candy from work and takes it home. Sweet. Itchy when we eat it. I was also the one that took this. So, approve any complaints to the ministry. Uh, classify any information for the Ministry of War. Reward for information for the Ministry of Labor. Issue an arrest warrant for request to the Ministry of Science and Technology. Reward information for the Ministry of Order. Issue an arrest for a request for Ministry of Social Care. Make a note for personal fire of the Ministry of Education. Issue an arrest for appeal for the Ministry of Center Firing Squad of the Ministry of mm. Culture. Next. An act request to the Ministry of Social Care. An act information for the Ministry of Culture. Ministry of Order. Archive it. Done. Next. Hi, my neighbor Alexander Timofeev was built has built a time machine in his apartment. My time machines aren't real. Yeah, that was me. Anyway, uh, Ministry of Science and Technology, approve any complaints, reject any deductions. Uh, Ministry of Science. Ministry, 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 Ministry. Yes, boom. Uh, Ministry of Labor, Ministry of Science and Technology. Warning information, Ministry of Order Issue, and Arrest Warrant for Ministry of Social Care. Patronism, Patronism. Okay. Uh, archive. Done. Next. We'll do one more, try to get a little bit, and then we need to figure out how to find tape. You approve complaints to the Ministry of Patron. Ministry of Order. Uh, Ministry of Labor, Ministry of Order. Um, okay, Ministry of Order, Ministry of Order, Ministry of Order. Ministry of Order, Ministry of Order, Ministry of Order, Ministry of Order. Back. 
Yay, no emails, like I said. Oop, regarding pensions. Nope, that was already read. I just where I just saw an empty one that hadn't been opened yet. Nope, okay, we're good. Gotta get tape. Do I need to go home and figure out how to break into people's shit? Auto. Can't help me either. I need tape. See if we can get in here without him noticing. See if there's anything we can do. Nope. I cannot pick cylinder locks, so the only thing for me to do now is go home. Or keep working for money. Yeah, I'll keep working for money off screen. Alright guys, so I'm back uh, here at the house. I didn't work for too long, I wanted to have enough time to read my books. Uh, do we have the money to pay for everything? No. We can pay collection for the army here in a little bit. We have one gold. This job doesn't seem to pay as well. We're not going to worry about TV right now. Let's read our books. Uh, I also found a biometric scanner on the way. I was searching for tape. So I checked the lost and found. Okay, so we can't hack hogweed terminals yet, but we can pick lever locks now. So that's awesome. Uh, but let's check the biometric scanner. Uh, received Hemdel codes. New information discovered about Caleb Redgrave. More caves, but, uh, more codes, but no actual information to read. That sucks. Okay, we're exactly out of time. I had exactly enough time to finish that book up. So let's go to bed. It's now 520, 1985. Where can I get tape, though? Hmm. It's not just get tape, right? It's learn about the Hank Brothers. Uh, competitive... Film and tape. Find tape, find a roll of plastic wrap. Uh, about task me bring him... Oh yeah, I can do that from the house, right? Ooh. I'll go do that right now. I think I can do that from the house, because it's like, oh, go to the factory, and they'll just give you the roll of film. So I bet if I just go home, and then click on my door... I could have done that last night, but I read books instead. Uh, go to the factory for plastic wrap. Yep, called it. This will give me the time to watch TV show, read a couple books, go back to bed. Uh, go to factory management, go to the warehouse, go to the production building, go to the building, leave the factory, go home. Okay, uh, using the address that Del Salvo gave you, you find the factory that has defined, it has definitely seen better times. There is dirt, desolation, and ruin everywhere. There is a warehouse to your right, the production building to your left, and a neat factory management building a little further away. Uh, use authority. Okay, uh, you search the offices and find the directory of the factory inside of one of them. You mention that Del Sordo, he straightens up, blinks, and falls into a stupor. The director fixes his gaze on you and says that the factory has been having minor difficulties for a long time. The equipment has been taken away and the workers are su and supplies are long gone. The only way he can help is to give you a voucher to get the wrap from the warehouse. There may be some reserves left. Go to the warehouse. The warehouse manager is napping in some boxes when you enter. Opening one eye, he first asks if you brought a voucher for the goods. You ask why the voucher... If there is nothing to give. He says that without a voucher, he cannot officially refuse to give you any goods. That's how it works. Show him the voucher. Okay, uh, the warehouse manager impales the voucher on a sharp pin, writes the number in his journal, and throws his hands up again. We're out of wrap. Uh, threaten to complain to the director. Ask for to get wrap. The manager rolls his eyes in the ceiling and tells you that he has two rolls, which he bought for his greenhouse. He could sell you a spare roll to a worthy buyer. Leave the factory and go home. Uh, I need money to buy rolls for my fucking boss. Uh, that's a dick move. So I gotta work, I gotta make some money to pay my bills, and buy some shit from this guy. God bless it. But now the issue is tape. Finding tape. This guy was never here before. 
Does he know where tape is? God, I can't see him. Okay, the guy loves rain. Rain can be nice. Let's see how she's doing. Can I just go inside now? Who do you think you are walking to Comrade Ferguson's office without knocking? Uh, douche canoe, Ferguson's dead. I can now pick the safe. Free of not everything. Uh, bonds, absolutely useless if you can't cash them. Boom. Buy record safe, thank you. Let's open up the safe, see what we get. Profile, P. Ferguson. Profile people are extremely unreliable, lazy, and stupid, addicted to alcohol and drugs, constantly takes bribes in huge amounts and holds orgies in the ministry, a regular client of illegal brothels, repeatedly accused of abusing minors, but all charges were dropped due to the pressure on witnesses. Considering the above and attached full case details, I recommend limiting P. Ferguson's authority to floor one of the ministry. I also recommend awarding him the order of merit to the motherland to reduce his indignation about permanent unjustified distrust. Well then, I'm glad we got him gone then. Let's see what's in his desk, or was in his desk. Tape! 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 Another biometric scanner. Let's see what it has. I want to apologize to you, Evan. I was a bad father. I wasn't with you when you needed me. I'm not with you now. When you're caught in the center of this whirlpool of shit to fight the power of the inner circle, and you're here because of me. My ambitions and irrepressible selfish thirst for justice to put your life in danger don't indulge in illusions son the ministry is a hole a black hole that sucks out your soul and pulls you into the heart of the storm a world of per perverted notions of good and evil but i'm not apologizing for what i've done no i just hope that you'll be able to forgive me for what you've done forgive me for what you've done or still have to do i'm very sorry okay let's hack the computer really quick All right, let's just look at some files really quick. Uh, Michael Brody, hang for failing to meet the bribes quota. This Jabonk shot for systematic errors made in sorting applications. Phil Dovigich sent to the kennels for overly fr frequent approval of citizen request. Paul Shank transferred as a gift to the butcher. Ugh. George Hemnitz transferred to the seventh floor, hanged at the cemetery uh, at the ceremony. Need to investigate this. Mary Sue, transferred to the 16th floor, executed by firing squad. Greg Collin, transferred to the 9th floor, workplace accident. Received 500,000 in bribes, of which 200,000 went to the general fund. I recommend holding motivational executions to encourage employees to take more bribes. His fancy car. Him with some ladies. Peter Forson, performance improvement. Mag Magda, I demand an urgent increase in the collection of undocumented income from the staff on my floor. Come up with some kind of reward for slaves. Arrange a competition between employees with an award unscheduled of unscheduled work. Or scare them with unscheduled work. I don't care. The main thing is that by the end of the month, each employee should have exceeded their quota by at least double. Emma Hazer. You forget. Okay, yeah. Uh, we have problems. Bruno, my friend, we, you have to help me. That son of a bitch, that shithead Red Grave. I saw an internal memo. He wrote about me. Now I've calmed down a bit, so I'm writing to you. I can't call you. I smashed the phone against the wall. That prick has pissed me off. We need to do something about him. Otherwise, he'll pull the plug and we'll have no more music, champagne, caviar, or pineapples. No more parties. I don't know about you, Bruno, but I can't live without sweet, easy, slutty girls. So use your connections. Let's find some dirt on this worthless moralist. Motherfucker. Okay. No hope of acquittal. Okay. Landscaper sells stimulants, okay. Yeah, no hope of acquittal. This person's dead, okay. Peter Dong. Okay, so that didn't help us at all. Not as much as I would have liked it to, anyway. 
No, Zivanas. Ivan, where have you been? There's only one we've been waiting for. And so today, I would like to formally announce a new round of Super Game. All the teams taking part, welcome. Team Loyalty 1, Kyle Brofsker, Nina Kraus, Team Homeland, Evan Redgrave, John Smith, Laura Villain, and Pink Wright. Scoring will be will begin tomorrow at the start of the new work shift. As usual, the team that does more of the for the good of the wins. And the loser will be once in a lifetime opportunity to see the Shredder from the inside. Congratulations to all of you. Now get back to work. Just got here, motherfucker. Okay. Can I ask you a question, Rose? Does that comrade ever mean to you, Redgrave? Sorry, comrade Everdeen. I wanted to ask you about Reverdanth Wright, Hank's right brother. Have you heard about that he disappeared? Not disappeared, but maliciously flouted the rules of discipline. Has this happened before? No one who violates rules of discipline repeats that mistake again, right? Okay. Perhaps you might know what happened to him. The reasons are of no interest to me. As soon as he shows up, he'll be fired on the spot. I guarantee it. Thanks, I guess. Back to work, Redgrave. Do you know what month it is? May? Yes. The leader of Patriarch Quiz will take place soon. Several teams are taking part in the quiz, and one person isn't enough. And one person isn't enough. There are just five people between me and the brilliant of EQ. I already have one, Gloria Melfastine, your son. I want to find four people, four more people for the team. Employees on our floor can't take part in the quiz, so wander around the ministry, if nothing else. You can get some from the street. Can you help handle that? I guess I'll go put a quiz team together. I've got a few people I trust. A few people I trust on this first floor that I gained love for, even though the one bitch gave me an STD. No, uh, general chat. Uh, Thought you'd be someone I could put on the team. Mike Page, are you so someone I can put on the team? Camp. Not someone I can put on the team. Okay. Uh, Emma has I R. What's new? Not brag, I'm sure more than me. I'll tell you to see your children in the foster home. With your parents, and they won't starve there either. In our country, children come first. Sounds good to me. Sounds too good to be true, but I don't know any fosters. I'm listening, Evan. If you find something, let me know. Uh, check about Emma's kids. Uh, in conversation. I don't care about Emma's kids. Uh, man, I need someone to partake in this, in the quiz. Hello. Hello. Invited to the quiz. Hi there. Can you make an offer? Won't refuse. No, thank you. So she should take part in the quiz. Hello, I'm putting together a team for the patriotic quiz. Would you like to join us? I don't. Damn it. So I just have to ask random strangers. I can't ask people I know. I was like, man, I have people I trust. Can I ask them? No, no, you cannot. You cannot ask people you trust, Tristan. You must ask complete and total strangers that you have no idea if they'll do what you want them to do. Take your pills, buddy. Take your pills. So then who would be next? People in line? People over here? <gasps> yes, you guys. Hello. Take part in quiz. Hi there. Can you offer to take one I'm not interested. I don't. Okay. Employee, you're an employee. Hell, I'm putting a team together for the Patriotic Quiz. Oh, to join us. Our team is losing the Super Game. I don't have time for quizzes, you know. Oh. Click. Okay, you convinced me. I need a distraction for my nerves will kill me. I'll do it. Excellent. I'll write your name down. My brother is in resource management, like in the Ministry of Social Care. No, he excavates them. He's a miner. Got you. Ha ha ha. Resource care. Ha ha ha. Uh, hello? Landscaper. <laughs> Apparently he's the one I could have talked to to get free bugs. Me too. I take care of the plants. And your name is? I've always been called out for the plants to get dry. Anything else you want? Talk about stimulants. What? Why talk about them? It's better than buy them. I don't want to. Ask who you work for. Who gives you stimulants? I don't write my own back. What are you doing? Plants to eat, plants to infest with damn bugs. If I don't get them all up now, in a couple days, there'll be nothing but bare branch stuff. We entered into the best house for protest. I've already filled two bags, and they just keep coming. I guess I could have... Yeah, that's where I could have gotten the bags from. Hello, Granny. You're new. You must partake in the quiz. I'm looking for someone, a young man. I want to spend my break looking for a beautiful ministry to having a rest. You know, to twist someone's arm. I think I'll do it. Okay, thank you. It's gonna take all of my fucking influence to do this, though. Oh, uh, what of the dude here? Hi there. I, I don't. Simple as that. All right. Fantastic. Uh, she said she was cool, just random people on the street, right? What about you, guard? Goodbye. Huh. 
Huh. Can't click on you. Tired man. Hi there, I'm making an argument with Fuse. I'm not selling, I work for the Ministry. We're having a patriotic quiz soon, but we don't have enough people on the team. Would you like to join us? I'm not thrilled with the prospect, to be honest. Don't you love your country, or perhaps you just don't love the great leader? Come on, tell me. Let the policeman over here it and let him listen to Mr. Police Officer. Wait, you've got it all wrong. I'll be happy to take part in the quiz. I'm a patriot, and I love our country and the great leader very much. That's much better. I'll put your name down on the list. Come along tomorrow. Tell the guards at the entrance where you're going, and they'll issue your pass. All the best. Press John Smith's personal file. Learn about Hank's brother. Win or die. Okay, uh, let's look at the quest. We have too many. Uh, here it is. One more person to take the quiz. I need one more person to take the quiz. Hmm. Worry about that later, I guess. 735. I don't have enough money to get the rap I need. I still haven't found the tape. I didn't request that dude's file. Oh my god, I already requested his file. Didn't it say to call somebody? Oh, there's just so much. This game has way more into it than the first game, but I love it. Okay, 12th. 12th floor. Out of my fucking way. Oh, she tried to go in, then I kicked her out by trying to pick it. Lol. Lol. Let's see what we can find inside of her desk. Any woman dressed size large. I don't care. I've got 320. I need like 450. I'll get some more while I'm working. Let me out. Thank you. We got a new scanner. So let's see what it says. Ooh, email on P. Ferguson. Bruno, my friend, you have helped me. That son of a bitch, that shit had red grave. I saw an internal member. He wrote about me. I've calmed down. I need to do something. Oh, that was, yeah, that was from whenever I read his email. Torn diary page, inner circle. Who came up with such a name for a handful of people running a country, hiding behind the image of a wise leader? I often ask this question at first, but then realize that there was such a much sense to it as there is as appeals for citizen coming to the ministry. Because the inner circle doesn't include a single honest person. I used to think that one of them was trustworthy, but he turned out to be the most cunning and slippery of them all. I tend to even doubt whether he's human at all. That's spooky, especially coming from my father. But we're going to go ahead and end this episode of Beholder 2 here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like to go ahead and hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button along with the bell icon next to it. Check down below for the link to my Twitter page and go ahead and follow me there, guys, for a lot more information on my channel and stuff about me in general. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I appreciate it. I will see you guys next time, and I hope you enjoy. Bye.